Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lachlan here, back with a brand new episode of the How To Minecraft series, back once again in the Salty Lagoon. And one thing I actually do have to show off to you guys first is that the Salty Lagoon is no longer Darude Sandstormed. It's uh, finally cleaned up. Me and Vic spent a while cleaning up our houses. And uh, I also tried to uh, clean up my basement because obviously there's been a lot of things going on down there. I tried cleaning out most of this obsidian. There's still a lot left, but I was like... You know, screw it, because I'm not really doing anything with it yet. I still don't know what to do with it, and I really can't be stuffed doing it. Um, so we'll have to see what we do there. But uh, you guys may have seen my last episode of How To Minecraft. Actually, I think, yes, it was the last episode of How To Minecraft where we did the poker table. Uh, now, that was a ton of fun. Uh, but I have something new I want to bring to the server. And that is going to be in the form of a uh, game called CeeLo. Um, but before I do that, guys, I just want to explain how poker works because there's a lot of people uh, in my uh, comment section for the last episode saying, yo, how does poker work? I don't understand what was going on, uh, which is fair enough because, uh, you know, it took me a while to understand poker. Uh, but pretty much how it works is uh, you may have seen and you'll probably learn because you might do a couple other poker nights in the future is that uh, I need to build some dispensers in the time while I'm uh, sitting here just talking. Uh, so you guys, just make sure I don't forget. I actually need to chop some trees. Let's chop some trees first. Uh, so what happens is you get given two cards. You make a bet uh, so that... No, you put one diamond in, and that gives everybody two cards. I think that's how it's meant to work. You get your two cards, and uh, then you, on that decision, decide to check and uh, leave the big blind as two. And then they will start throwing down the river, which is, of course, uh, the three cards in the middle. Um, now those three cards, you try to use those three cards with the two cards you have to try and pull off uh, some sort of combo. Uh, I guess this is what I'm trying to explain to a lot of people out there. So the basic uh, first sort of hand, or even actually I think the most basic one is just the higher card. So ace is highest card if there's no pairs. I believe that's how it works in the end result. Oh, it's a little naughty. Um, so let me just get some of this wood. Uh, so when you have a pair, uh, that is like one of the first sort of combos you can get. I don't know, it's not it's not meant to be called a combo, but I'm just going to call it that anyway. Um, uh, that's sort of what you want to try and get. And the highest, if there's two people with a, uh, a pair, then the person with the highest pair wins. Uh, so for example, if you have a nine and there's a nine on the river, then uh, you have a pair of nines and that's your hand. Uh, it's a very low hand, but it's a dec It's an all right hand. Uh, and then there's three of a kind, which I did get on the video, which is yeah, it's a pretty decent hand. And there's a flush. A flush is when you have each uh, suit. So if you have an ace of spades and a five of spades, and the river is three of spades, two of spades, and a king of spades, then you have a flush. You have all five uh, spades, but someone else might have two spades in their two hands and in their hand and uh that might not work out for you then because then you will just get um you'll both have a flush and it'll just be a draw but i believe the person with the highest card out of those uh so in that hand whoever had the highest card would win um then there's a straight a straight is just uh five in a row so five six seven eight nine i believe yep five six seven eight nine five six seven eight Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I thought I should go to 10, but I didn't actually need to. Um, and then full house. What is full house? Full house is a three of a kind and a two of a kind. So uh, three twos and two twos. Three threes and two twos. That would be a full house. That's a pretty high hand as well. It's like a three of a kind and a two of a kind. Uh, look, it's little Vicky on the server now. Wee. Little Vicky. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, anyway, is we're going to build a place called CeeLo. Now, this is another sort of uh, gambling game. This is the last time I really want to focus on sort of like minigame content because I would like to try and get... Uh... Actually, you know what? We'll build that in the future and I'll talk about what that is because I would like to do a sort of a building episode and try to get either some wither skulls because I really want to get a beacon for our house. Uh, but where it's going to be set up is mainly upstairs, the CeeLo table. They're going to have to come here. It's going to be set up over here, and this is going to be a place where we will roll CeeLo. Now, I guess we'll just do the CeeLo, damn it, because it's really interesting, and I really want to explain this concept to you guys. So CeeLo is a game uh, that's normally played with dice, specifically specifically three dice. Um, and uh, how it works is uh, you roll the dice. So I'm just going to roll it for example right here. And uh, I've just rolled a five, five, and a two. Now, this is a, a hand, actually. That would be a two. 
I have to explain it to you guys. But anyway, what it is, it's, it's my own little uh, gambling place. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have three dispensers set up uh, with one to six in each of them. And uh, I'm just going to roll it until I get a number. And then I'm going to combine those to say I was rolling a dice. So me um, popping out a paper between one to six in a dispenser until it pops is, uh, is how the dice is going to work. And what it will do, it will give... Three random numbers between one and six, just like a dice. And uh, then I'll tell you how the game of Sealer actually works. It will be a ton of fun. Uh, Jerome introduced this to me. Uh, he has a little app that we played a couple times in Canada. Um, obviously not real money, just, just, they're just playing it. It's actually really, really fun. But I thought we could throw diamonds on the line when we actually uh, get on the server. So it'd be quite interesting. Um, so anyway, let me just get some of my strings out. Or bows. Strings or bows. Um... I really got to watch my uh, face cam though. I look, I look really, really white this morning. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the gray shirt does not help, but uh, it's just really, really early, and the light is really bright. Um, like really white, like really, really white, like seriously white. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get some of these bows out and start making some dispensers. Uh, all right, because I do need three dispensers. All right. Um, one, two. And then I think you need to go all the way around with a redstone, though. No, you need a redstone. I'll get the redstone out. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions on uh, how to, you know, shape my house, and let me know because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this place. Um, all right, dispenser. I don't think I can do it with a half bow. I think it needs to be a full bow. I don't even, can't even test it. I don't even have enough cobble. All right, um, anyway, let's just get enough. Um, a lot of people ask about the ear. I've already gone through most of the ear. It's it's it's, it's all right going to the doctors after I do this stream. I think we'll have to see. Uh, also, it's very freaking hot right now, like incredibly hot. I have no idea why. Oh, that's right. It's Australia. Lel. All right. Um, cobblestone all the way around, up and down, and a redstone. Okay, there's. Three dispensers. Now, the hard part, I guess, about this is uh, trying to get uh, enough, I guess, papers to try and get it to work. Now, i got to try and also get this to work in a way so it's nice. I should probably get it up against this wall, maybe? Hmm. I, and if there's a way I could get it to go straight into, like, an item frame, that would be perfect guys does anyone know if there's a, if i shoot it straight into an item frame will it go on an item frame or i could just put it on the item frame i guess actually that would actually that would be really cool because then everyone could see their hand yeah that would actually be much better and i'll, I'll be like the operator i guess um uh, okay this is really interesting so yeah, I'm gonna, i'll teach you guys how this game works real quick i'm just going to set it up uh but first to set it up we need papers i guess i could use papers and does anyone have any suggestions for a substitute for paper, because uh, obviously they use paper for the cards in poker. I wonder if I should use something different uh, for my sets over here. I mean, paper is just a—it's pretty standard. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, uh, your inventory is so untidy. It is actually. Let's clean that up. Let's clean that up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw away that boat because it doesn't really help us much. Um, let's throw away some blocks in here. I know I've got a wood chest and a non-wood chest for blocks, but where did I even get that? I put that on before. Okay. Wool's not a bad idea. Um, maybe black wool? I guess black wool, because that would be the number on it. Yeah, we'll go with black wool, because that would actually technically... Yeah, that would work. Okay. Uh, let's get some wool and get some ink sacks going. That was a good suggestion. Um... Okay, uh, let me try and get some ink sacks, okie doke. Alrighty, we need six, six, we need 18 pieces of wool. Okay, what did I just, did I just put the wool away? Where did it go? Oh, I dropped it accidentally. Okay, so we need, yes, we need 18 pieces of wool, and that will be enough for, uh, six, uh, three dies. Okay, and then I guess we shall name tag these all. I'm going to need some more levels, but I guess for now I might as well just start um, going through them all. So let's go uh, 1, 2, 
Sham across one. Okay, I wish I could do this faster. Actually, no, I can make... Actually, that does help. I can make them... Oh, wow, I can actually do this much quicker now. It's actually not going to take that many levels at all because I can do that, uh, like, multiples at a time. So, two. It's all those. Three. It's all those. Or maybe I should have done an actual... Is there anything stackable that goes up with the more you have it? So I'm thinking like, uh, sort of like RuneScape-ish, so that, um, like, you know how you have like one pair, one GP and it only shows one. <sighs> Just so the actual item would be a number itself. No, I don't think there is anything that quantifies the item. Alright, so I guess we'll just keep going with this method we got. It's probably the best one that I can do. Uh, let's go for a four. Okay. Oh, why? Oh. It knows it's been enchanted before, and that makes it... Really, I didn't know name tags make it more expensive to cast. Okay. So I did do it wrong. <laughs> I did do it wrong indeed. Okay, but if I have some ink sacks to spare here, it doesn't mean too much. Because I can just throw these ones out. They are no longer useful to me. <laughs> Alright, um, and I just need one more ink sack. I'll go kill a squid if I have to, actually. Um, any squid, squid, squid? Oh, I see so many squids. Okay, come here, buddy. Why does it lag so much? Sometimes in here, it just keeps lagging. I wonder if it fixed anything. We thought it was the slime. We got rid of the slime for that reason, but, um... Okay. Make manners. What, what, what? What are you saying? Ask Vic for wool. Um, we've got tons of wool. We'll be fine. Where is Vic? I wonder if he's trying to kill me, the sneaky little... Sneaky little one. Alright, anyway, let's go back inside. Uh, you should repair your armor before it breaks. I've put... I'm now wearing my iron armor, but uh, yes, 100% agree. Wow, I just look like a dirt for about... Um, yeah, I, I probably should have, uh, you know, had a... Gone out in first, but I was a little... Uh, a little worried to get this out before you guys. Alright, for you guys, sorry. Um, anyway, let's get a going with the black wool. One, two, three. Okay, let's just do this... So we don't mess it up. One more on this. What the hell? Could you not? Okay. And... One, two, three. We want all those to be four. Okay. One, two, three. Want those to be five. Okay. And one, two, three. We want those to be six. Okie dokie, there's, there's all of our walls, I guess you could say. And how it will work, actually, do I have buttons? Let me get some buttons here. Um, oh, banners. Banners is great. I definitely will make banners. I'm going to have like sort of like a casino. If I could make a dice out of a banner, that'd be really cool, actually. Uh, just to show like that's the, this is the casino. This is like our casino, I guess you could say. Like, it's the only game we're going to play here is CeeLo. And uh, the way it's going to work is... Piggies are not going to run inside our house. That's for sure. Oh, he's a little cheeky one. Um, anyway, moving forward. Uh, let me get some... Uh, what's that is? Nothing much. Just going through and setting up our new mini game, which is going to be very, very hype out of Squip. Um, Okie dokie. And we'll have everyone over, and uh, it will be a ton of fun. I'll just... Once I'm done setting it up, I'll explain it to you guys and how it works. Um, Alright. So let's go up here. Alright, the buttons. One, two, three. Okay. So I have to set this up in a way that... Um, this is how it will work. You get one of each. And of course there is... Yo, able to sleep, guys. Uh, I don't have a bed. <laughs> I don't have a bed, Vic. Uh, plus, I don't think Shoko is there anyway. Alright. Um, so this is how it would work, guys. So, uh, obviously, with a better setup, this is how it will work. Um... And by that, I mean I'd have item frames on the side. And everyone else would have to stand back while I do it. So someone, this would be someone's role. Let's say this was Vic's role. I'd go bang, bang, bang. And three would pop out. I'd get all three of them. And I'd go, all right, you just rolled a two ones and a four. Now that is actually a roll. Let me explain the game of CeeLo to you guys right now so you do not get any more confused. Okay, so like I said, this is a game 
with dice, three dice, and this is we've, that's how we've just made our way of simulating dice. Um, so how it works, um, and how it will work for the server, I guess, is that everyone throws in a mutual bet. So everyone will say, "All right, guys, let's play around. Let's all bet five diamonds." And there could be five people. So let's say there's five people. Each person bets five diamonds. There's a pool of twenty-five or a pot of twenty-five diamonds. Okay, everyone takes a roll. And whoever gets the best roll wins everything. It's sort of like a... Yeah, it's like poker, I guess. You win everything if you win. Now, the hands and what you can get is a little unique. So what I've just rolled there is a four. So the first thing you need to get is a double, okay? So if you get a double roll, then whatever your single roll is is what score you got. So I rolled a double one, and I got a four. So my score is a four. Um, if I'd gotten two sixes and a one, my score would be a one. Um, one is a very, very bad roll. Uh, four is alright. Six is obviously the best double roll that you can get. Um, so if I got two ones and a six, then the six would be the best roll. Uh, now that's a pretty decent roll, but... Wow, okay, Vix. Alright, mate. Alright, mate. Get all the achievements. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that's a pretty good roll. But to beat a six on its own, you have to try and get a triple roll. Now, triple roll, very standard, three of a kind, pretty rare. Um, very, very good roll, hard to beat. Triple six being one of the best rolls you can get, and it can only be beaten by one roll, and that roll is a four, five, six. Four, five, and six. So you get a four, a five, and a six. Very simple. That is an automatic win, unless no one else rolls a four, five, six. And there is one more roll, and that is a 1, 2, 3. If you roll a 1, 2, 3, you automatically lose no matter what, unless everybody else gets a 1, 2, 3, which is very unlikely. Um, although once me and Jerome were playing, and uh, we both rolled a 1, 2, 3, and it was just like, what is this game? Um, so yeah, it's a very, very interesting game. Trust me, guys, you will enjoy it. Um, but let's just set up uh, the rest of this, because I can't wait to have a CeeLo night with everybody. Uh, it's going to be fun. I just want to do a couple test rounds. So then, uh, oh, the only annoying thing would be having to restock the um, the dispensers after every roll is the only major problem I could find. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, ah, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the only problem is... Uh, Trying to get uh, each of them out every time, I guess. Um, but they do always, they do always give a hand. I guess that's the best. That's a really good system. So then, for example, I just rolled a three, worse than my last roll, but not too bad. Um, I guess just spreading them out and um, knowing which ones which is probably the best way to just go about and splitting them up. My lag on the server right now is pretty shocking though. Let's roll again. Let's just do a couple rolls for you guys to show like what rolls we get. Um, I'm lagging so bad. Look at that. All the buttons are pressed in. All the buttons are pressed in because I'm lagging that much. Why though? I'm not even like downloading or anything. Like it should be fine. Even before I disconnect from the server though. I should disconnect from the server. Hoppers. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, and face the button so everyone else can press it. Um... I don't know, because the way I want to do it, because it's going to be quite messy, unless I get multiple stations... Yeah, knew it. Um, make different colored walls for each, so you know which one goes in the right way. Uh, that's true, actually. Hmm. Oh, droppers. Actually, yes, very, very good idea. Actually, just like the poker table for the river, I should use droppers. I mean, before someone scratched the server, that would be really, really Darude Sandstorm. Um... Possibly be the derudest of sandstorms. Um, yeah, okay, colored wool definitely sounds like a good idea. So then I know uh, that would. Wish I wish I thought of that first, damn it. <laughs> After I'd named the wool, damn it. Um, okay. That's actually a very good idea. But yes, droppers are equally as good. I. Damn it, sorry. I am getting some mad indigestion. Uh, let me just see Rob's hitting me up. <coughs> <coughs> Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting, trying to get some of that. Um, you can put carpets on top, use more dispensers and colored wool. I don't think we need more dispensers. Check for assassin contracts. I don't have any 
um, assassin contracts. I checked last time. Oh my god, dude, so much lag. So much lag, so much lag. Okay, we are finally back from the lag storm. So much lag. Yo, you guys doing anything laggy? Um... Um, why? Restart your Minecraft? I I'll, I'll quickly restart my Minecraft, but, um... Uh, I guess we'll, uh, try and do that. And yes, we'll go ahead and flip Nick, uh, Vic's Nemo straight away. I'm gonna quickly do this right now. Do a red, white, and black. I mean, I guess I could have... But then they have to always go to the the board is the only problem. Um, Vic's going to die. He needs you. Vic is going to kill you. I was on his stream and he said he was going to kill you. That'd be the biggest Darude Sandstorm at NA if he did that. Um, Darude Pingstorm. I don't know what's going on with my internet right now. I'm I like my stream's holding, so it must be the server. Um, wait, let me just check. I think the server's getting DDoS or something. I don't think it is. Yo. Did the... Gotta love that. Come on. I just want to play. Hashtag blame Tony Abbott for the lag. Um, change the border to the how to microphone. Ah, did I not do that? Very apologetic for that one. Sorry about that. Apologize. Um, so, I guess I could go into single player and, uh, check real quick. What videos are you putting up today? There's a micro battles going up, uh, decently soon, and then there's this how to Minecraft, of course. But, um, I think we might have to wrap the how to Minecraft up early, which is a little disappointing. And if I do, um, the server is getting hacked to anonymous. Definitely. Definitely getting hacked to anonymous. Everybody knows anonymous is going to hack the server. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Anonymous is not hacking the server. Um, but everybody in the YouTube uh, comments that is watching this video right now. Oh, look, it's myself again. Oh, look, Ali A's on. Look, it's. Oi. What's this going? BRB. Look at that. Look, there's myself again. Um. Illuminati confirmed. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put these dice back and roll again. Because uh, a lot of people ask me to roll a die a couple times. Uh, I just want to quickly do it with a dropper setup first. So I think droppers is definitely one thing we're going to incorporate into this design. Uh, without a doubt. It's just it's just smart to do it. Um, so let's get some chess. One, two, and three. It would be nice to name them, definitely. Um, okay. Where is my iron at? Okay, one, two, all right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all right, keep dokey. And that way everyone can sort of see what they have. So, uh, if there's, if I stack them up on top of each other, will they all go into one dispenser? Cause, uh, sorry, hopper? Cause that is very ideal. If they all go into one dispenser. Um, I guess I could just... Yeah, no, I could. I could get that going. Um, so, this guy, by the way. I'm just going to take a selfie with this guy real quick. Um, I'm just going to take a selfie with this guy. He Like, he's not... He's just sticking around, you know? He's just staying there. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. He wants to gamble or something. Because he's just sticking around. Um, so, I'm just going to do this for an example real quick. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the middle here. And this is just to simplify things a little bit. Um, so I guess I only really needed one hopper, but... if I, I could probably do multiples of this. So they all face in this way, right? I think I might need to actually space it out by one, because I think that's how mats worked. Um, and uh, anyway, you get the hands to go in like that, just to keep everything in order. Okie dokie, and one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Get my buttons out. Could you please move? Little Lockie. Could you move real quick? Okay, and then so someone's roll, I go bang, bang, bang. And then there's their roll. So they got a five. That's actually a really good roll. They nearly got triple sixes, actually. I like that system much better. And then if I could replicate that many times over, I'm not too sure. I sort of want everyone... Because it, it's meant to be like a big hype thing, you know? So I guess resetting each person's roll isn't that hard. Let me see how efficiently I can do it with this setup. Because we're all about efficiency here. We want to take as many people's money as possible. Um, so I'll just keep resetting the table. Um, I messed that up or something. Did I not put that in the right... Did I just duplicate, or am I still lagging? <laughs> um, at least it's not as bad as uh, a journey to Montreal. Yeah, that was shocking. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a really good idea. And I might set this up in multiple stations with different colors for each person's role, maybe. We'll have to do something like that. And then in here will be the pot as well to the side. So that'll be like the big pot. Everyone just shoves in five diamonds. Winner takes it all. Uh, and uh, the house must take something, so we'll have to see. But uh, for anyone on the YouTube side of things, because I guess we're going to have to wrap this up because uh, either I've duped a... either Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just updating. All right, let's do a couple rolls just to see efficiency. So let's keep going. Spam it, spam it, spam it. And they rolled a... Oh, I really thought they rolled a 4, 5, 6. That would have been hype. Uh, so two. So everyone's gone. Oh, yeah, he got a bad roll. He got a bad roll. He got a bad roll. All right, next roll. Is there any way to get redstone dust and make a trail going around the buttons to make them one dispenser? Very, very smart. Very, very good idea. Um, does that work like that? Okay, I picked one up then. But, and that's the thing. I'll have to barricade it off so people don't pick it up. But uh, yes, that's a very good idea. One, two, six. The auto placing, I guess, at this point is just the only problem. Um, and this is only a rough design. Obviously, I don't want to look this bad. But I'd be like, everybody stand back. And like, like you, sir, you, sir, myself, please step back, all right? Please step back. And I go, bang, roll the dice. Dice go in. That one did not. Um, with that set up, it seems that that one keeps getting out. But it doesn't appear to be on me because I can't use it. We are lagging. <laughs> a ridiculous amount. Uh, I just want to show off my machine, Mom. All right, and that was a... Oh, it's a 4, 5, 6! Oh, no way! That roll right there, guys, you win, pretty much. That's the best roll you can get. 4, 5, 6. Um, and uh, I just need to test a couple times to see why that one was shooting out a little um, on the front of the center dispenser to activate them all on the front of the center dispenser. So, like, right there. Can you even put buttons on the ground? You can. Yeah, now at least. Um, at least this way. The only problem is when they get a double. Could we not get this massive lag, please? Like, I just want to try and build. And like I said, I might have to wrap this up because of it. Uh, let me just put these back in. I really want to test this last design. Because you, you guys are really helping me out uh, in the, uh, the Twitch comments. And I can't wait to see all the structure stuff. Then we get some nice banners with some nice dice on them and stuff. Get it all set up and stuff. It's going to be crazy cool. All right. Well, that's me still in the server. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Sorry, guys. Lag is just for some reason being too overpowered. Uh, but of course, if you do on Twitter or something, have any like design layouts that you'd like me to try and incorporate when we actually do the CeeLo night. Now, I believe it is pronounced CeeLo. It's the game that, we act that's cool, that we're trying to take inspiration from. Um, this is shocking. Holy damn, this lag. It's actually so bad. Yeah. We're well, out, right, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to wrap it up there. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode of How to Minecraft. I think we're going to go and try and get a second with the skull, hopefully, tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Later, guys. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to wrap up the stream as well. I hope